Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, today is going to be Unsouthern Confessions Part 3. You know Part 3 now? Okay. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe below. Anyway, I've been watching videos on YouTube lately about the differences between the UK and America. And I was thinking, you know, Americans are all are split up into all sorts of different peoples and so I, I ran across an article about 40 southern phrases explained and I will put the link to that down below but um, I sort of didn't agree with a lot of the phrases that were chosen for this because I feel like the author of the article sort of lumped all of us in together and I, I know from personal experiences that people in New York do not talk like people from Boston but I don't notice as much of a comparison contrast between different northern dialects as I do with different southern dialects and the fact that they just sort of put us all together. So, hey baby, how are you doing? Um, anyway, so as an author and a person who loves wordplay and, and is from the South, and when I say from the South, I mean I'm from the part of the country that participated in the Civil War. There are other Souths, but they're not, as far as I'm concerned, as far as where I'm from is concerned, they're not really the South. And they have different dialects. So the point is, I use some Southern, southern phrases. Liam, honey, stop. I'm sorry, he lost his bone. I use some Southern phrases like, alrighty then which means moving on, but I'm not quite sure what I agree to. And I also use words like lovely, but they're never uttered in any family get together I've ever been. So um, I mainly use lovely when I'm being sarcastic and I express it with a sigh. It's a resignation of sorts, and when I write it, it's used to uh, describe the feelings of whatever dilemma has, has befallen a particular character. Now, in, in researching this topic, like I said, I came across this article that is titled um, Southern Phrases Explained. But there are some that I don't agree with, and some I don't agree with the definitions that were given. Um, for example, Caddy wampus is not in my vocabulary. In fact, I had never heard it. I had never come across that word until I saw it on the internet. Now, cockeyed, that's in my vocabulary, and it just means crooked. It's crooked. I don't know what caddy wampus is. I do think that idget now is a Midwestern term, and the first time I heard that was on the TV show Supernatural. Bobby was calling one of the boys in idget. Um, I have no idea about off like a herd of turtles. I don't think I've ever heard that, even though I do understand what it means. Now, the author of this article starts off the phrase, road hard, and finishes it with put away wet, but we put things up. So the phrase is actually road hard and put up wet because when we put things up, we put them away. Everything has a place, and it is put up into it. Now, tore up does not just mean broken. It means I'm gonna beat your ass. It means I'm gonna destroy whatever the hell that is. Um, but it does not just mean broken. Too big for your britches is another phrase that I think she left out, and it means you need an ass beaten and a pompous, and it's usually understood that I'm gonna cut you off at the ankle so your pants fit better, because you ain't that grown. 
Now there are a few I have to add, like Sirius is a heart attack, which means I'm either telling you a story or the re repercussions of what I'm saying are dire and you need to pay attention. Now from up home is usually said when references someone or something that is not with you and doesn't live with you or live somewhere else now. And up is north. Word of prayer loudly means I'm going to verbally beat your ass and you will be praying for forgiveness when I'm done. Sunday go to meeting is usually in reference to clothes and my granddaddy wore suits even to the beach on Sunday because that's when he took my grandmama on dates. Fuck is never a word even thought about in front of your mama because she will slap your teeth down your throat which means knock you senseless or slap you across the face for those of you that don't know what that means. God damn it isn't uttered for the same reason. Words like commode show our intelligence and the reason that we talk slow is so y'all can understand each syllable so we can gauge your intelligence and our, adjust our verbiage to you. Because sometimes y'all don't know and we have to use smaller words even though we know their words. Some of us are real quiet, real in that instance means dairy, and some of us are catty, which means dish of gossamongers with teeth and proverbial claws. Well, anyway, I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas. Yes, I'm going to say it. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Have a good holiday and uh, brightest blessings. Blessings.